Today I'm going to be showing you how to make mushroom cheese top burgers, not just any cheese, truffle cheese. Let's jump straight into this one. Hug Pizza 2 Ready, cooking and unboxing videos. And welcome back everybody. Make sure if you're new to the channel you're hitting that subscribe notifications and let's jump straight into this burger that I'm going to make using these lovely field mushrooms. Look at the size of these. Wow. So as well as the mushrooms, I've got some burger buns, I've got some butter, I've got some Stilton cheese, and I've got this black truffle cheese as well. I picked this one up uh, from Aldi, it was reduced on offer for 99p a block, so I thought, you know what, I'm definitely going to be trying that for that price. For today's video, I am going to be using the Ninja wood fire. Now, if you've got the Ninja grill, the foodie, or any air fryer, with a grill setting, you can do this recipe. Or you can just use a good old fashioned oven and a grill. It's up to you, but however you wanna cook it, you can join in with this one. Right, I'm gonna move you in closer and you can have a little look at the ingredients. So as I've just said, we've got butter sliced, we've got some English Stilton, we've got the black truffle cheese, we've got some nice flat cap mushrooms, and I've got some seeded brioche burger buns that are sliced. And it's really, really easy. So we're going to go over to the Ninja wood fire today and we'll turn it off so I can show you, but then we're going to spin it round to grill, which is the top one. Um, and it says high for 10 minutes. Um, we're just going to leave on them settings. What we're going to do, we're not going to include any smoky wood fieriness for today. All I want to do is grill these mushrooms on the griddle plate. So I press start stop and it's now on a preheat. So once this is ready, it will come up and say add food, which is then what we're gonna do next. But while we're waiting for that to happen, I like to peel the mushrooms. So I'm just gonna peel these. You don't have to. Okay, and I am just going to wiggle the stalk out as well so it's nice and flat and peeled so I'll crack on and get these ones done whilst this is just going through its warm up stage and there we have the ninja beep to say we're ready and it says add food on the screen so I'm just going to open this up and the beauty about this ninja wood fire as well, if you want, this will work with the lid open as well. Okay, so I'm just going to add these mushrooms. And they look fabulous. And then what I'm going to do is a little piece of butter on each one. And don't panic, this will cook into the mushroom and any excess will dribble out onto the griddle pan and of course we'll go into the bit underneath but I'm hoping that we'll have some left for the brioche buns and then what we're going to do we're going to add some seasoning just got a little bit of salt a bit of sea salt and then I'm going to add the pepper at the end once the cheese is on. So I'm going to get this cooking again and then we're going to prep the cheese up. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm just going to reduce the temperature to medium whilst while we do this cheese. And I've got one of the new Ninja knives. I'm gonna just slice some of this cheese. And these these cook really fast, these mushrooms, so it's a really nice, it's a really nice one to do. So I'm gonna go then with some stilton. Just take the rind off it first. And obviously you can choose whatever cheese you like. 
doesn't have to be Stilton, doesn't have to be truffle cheese, whatever you like. Nice, these are looking really good already. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on with the cheese right now. I'm going to close the lid and I think another couple of minutes and already these have been nearly done. Right, let's have another look. And they look good. Little. Have a bit of cracked black pepper on top. And then we're going to move these up and then we can get the burger buns on as well. Now this has just beeped and look at that, doesn't that look fabulous? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on with one of these big and then I'm going to go on with one of the smaller ones. and then the lid. Fantastic. So I plated the other two up as well, made it look a little bit fancy, and at the end of the day, it's just a brioche burger with some grilled, buttered mushrooms, some cheese, and obviously making sure that you do griddle these buns. So let's have a, let's have a little taste. Wow, for something so simple, so quick and easy, that, that is a really, really cracking quick dinner. And turn into a tea, had some chips, had some wedges, whatever you like, a little salad. And now I've got to think of something else to do with all these mushrooms. So hit me up in the comments below. Number one, what do you think of these? Are you going to have a go? Number two, what should I do with the rest of these mushrooms? Give me a shout in the comments. And obviously make sure you are heading over to Ninja Foodie World, the Facebook page that I run. It has nearly 10,000 members growing strong all the time. It'd be great to see you there. There is a link to that page in the description below as well. And obviously make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching everyone. One piece of too many.